Shamai Bodhida Pranhounda, wherever you may be watching this and whenever you may be watching this. Croeso, e my Welsh learning journey with Lynn Cumberland Pembrokeshire. My name's Tom and I am currently kind of halfway through, well, 11 units through my Sylvine learning, having already done the Minidiad course last year. I did one and two in one year. I'm doing the same with my Sylvine course right now. Um, we Last week, we looked at Gwynav, uh, looking at the future tense in a different way to Bother Eam, which was, I will be doing something. Uh, Gwynav is, I'll do something. Um, so, uh, hang on. Yeah, um, so we looked at Gwynav, which was, I'll do something. So if I just head back on my pages here, I'll give you an example of what we talked about. So, um, uh, Gwynav your coffee, I'll make the coffee. So Gwynav your super, I'll make the supper. And then as with uh, most languages, other than English, we've got the Gwynav E, we've got the, let's flip back to the help flower just to remind me so I don't give you any incorrect information. Gwynadi, Gwynaf E or Gwynaf He, and also Gwynani, Gwynawchi, and Gwynanhu. So they'll do that, you'll do that, we'll do that. Um, he or she will do something or make something. So we moved on. So that came from uh, like Gwynesti, which was past tense. Gwynes ir, the Gwynesti or Gwynesi coffee. Um, I made the coffee, the past tense. So we moved to the future tense. And then in unit 11, we moved forward and we looked at um, somewhere that I'm going to go to. So by the event I will go to, or I will be going to, is different if you want to use like a shorter version like SE, which was of course, I went. So SE Idre Doi, I went to town yesterday. Well, if you want to say where you'll be going, you can say Av E. And you might already have recognized that that's pretty much Gwynav without the Gwyn <laughs> at the beginning, which is really important because that's gonna stay with us. It's the theme throughout unit 11 and of E, similar to when we did Ersi and Gwynesi, but now it's Gwynavi and Avi, or Avi. So you'll see they're so similarly linked. And it's almost a shame that we don't learn them earlier in the past and the future tense, but I understand why, and it's because of soft mutations that come in the form of when you're asking a question, which we're introduced to in Minidiad, but we don't be overwhelmed with that uh, too early, which is why it comes in the Sylvan unit. And also, as I mentioned in last week's video, Gwynavi isn't actually used all that much in dialect in West Wales area, or certainly Pembrokeshire anyway, not according to uh, the tutors that we have. So that's really interesting. And then, Sticking with RV and places that I will be going, it's nice and easy to remember. And uh, Bithig in particular mentioned that she probably would use RV in some in more context than she would be less likely to use Gwen RV with I'll do something. And I've noticed that in the next unit, uh, a friend of mine mentioned how they would offer help. So um, Gwen RV helpy is I'll help, but there's another way that you can say I'll help, um, help at E, which is next week, I believe. So more on that before Christmas, because we're steamrolling towards Christmas. Talking of which, I'm wearing an awful Christmas jumper. Sean Corn, nay goody who. What do you think? <laughs> um, and going back to unit 11, we've got the RV. And similarly, I'm just gonna to jump to the back because you're gonna see how similar this is to what I, I just went through the help flower for, for Gwynav. So for RV, the helping hand, we've got RV, AD, if you remember, um, you will do something, is Gwynadi. Well, it's AD, AFHI as opposed to Gwynafhi, uh, AUNI, ELCHI, and ANHU. So it's, it's exactly the same, minus those letters. And that's such a simple way to remember the difference between it, which is what we used in our Minidiad for the exam, because you've got, um, the different ithoth, ithochs and dithochs, a lot of the words are very, very, very similar. 
Um, so if you can get those patterns in your head, then you're going to be going a long way to helping yourself um, understanding future tense in the sylvine unit, which is brilliant. It was a super, super duper short unit as well. So other than the fact that it's very similar to Gwynaf and it's Arv or Gwynaf and Aif, there isn't really that much more to tell you because we already know the rules about negatives. So Alni Dim Adre Arola Um and we also know about uh, asking questions and will you really be doing things have soft mutations in there as well. So the only other thing to kind of mention is that we've been introduced to more questions for our conversations if we're going to be doing the um, exam come summer or the end of spring, I suppose. And just being aware of these different topics and how we can talk about the future tense in a different way and how we can link that to things that we did do in the past tense and what we can now do in the future tense. So that's really cool. So onwards and upwards. Um, their next unit, in Ed in the day, we're going to have coffee, dost, i vrekwast Um I'll have toast for breakfast tomorrow. There you go. Gavi tost, uh, Gavi dost, top mutation after e, uh, os gweli dean da, as opposed to os gweli chin da. Uh, we're going a bit more, it looks like a bit more informal. Asking for and giving permission for doing bits and pieces. So more on that next week. Um, very short video this week because it's essentially a repeat of the, of the previous unit, just taking off some letters. <laughs> Uh, I will see you next week, Gwela Echi Oitmos Nessa. Any questions? And also a big Hlongo Vachiadai to Gina Jones on the Breakfast Show in association with O.C. Davis of Roundabout Garage Nayland, who has been crowned Pen Camper, the head champion, the champion of Seden Ail Roitmos, the gold star of the week, uh, Welsh phrase of the week with Income Like Pembrokeshire on any breakfast on a Thursday. It has come to an end, sadly. Uh, so I might have to carry on playing some. It's um, uh, Kenny Kamraig, uh, in, in Ode of Thomas, he introduced me to a Welsh song by Al Lewis, Clachair uh, Keiru, Reindeer Bells, of which Gary Marlow has done an English cover with Alan Jones with a Welsh verse, while the Al Lewis version is 100% Welsh, and I 100% love it. So you're welcome. Croesomar, and uh, yeah, Hoyle Vaur.